DMM DYN2 AC servo system is very easy to set up. The base components needed are the DYN2 servo drive, a matching DST or DHT servo motor, encoder and motor power cables, and a DC power supply. In our demo, we will be using a 620 DST 200 watt motor with a 350 watt 48 volt DC power supply unit. You will also need a PC computer to communicate with the servo drive using the tuning cable. Make sure the encoder and motor power cables are securely connected from the servo motor into the servo drive. From the DC power supply, make sure the voltage polarity into the DYN2 servo drive is correct. Let's power up the system. The DYN2 servo drive's status LED will turn green to indicate the drive is in operation. Make sure the green light is solid. If flashing, check the input power and cabling. The servo motor locks position. Connect the RS-232 serial or USB tuning cable from the servo drive into the PC. When using the serial cable, you can also use a universal serial to USB converter to achieve connection. Make sure the appropriate driver is enabled. For the DMM USB cable, the PC should install the cable driver itself upon connection. Open the DMM DRV program. The CON status indicator indicates we are not connected to the drive yet. Select Connect. If you already know your COM port number, select that number and select Set COM port. The program will indicate if connection is achieved. If the COM port number is not known, select Detect COM port and the program will scan and indicate what COM port the servo drive is connected to. You can verify the connection by pressing Confirm COM port. Once the connection is achieved, the program will indicate the COM port number and the status on the bottom corner. Select Servo Setting, then DYN2 Servo Drive. Select Read to read out the current settings and parameters. The servo status should indicate Servo On Position, meaning the drive and motor are in normal operation. To adjust the parameters, make adjustments on screen, then press save all to save the parameters into the servo drive memory. There will be an audible indication every time the parameters are read. You can select refresh cons to refresh the on screen parameters, then select read to verify that the new parameters were saved. To test the motor movement, select RS-232 under Command Input Mode. Then select Save All under Test Movements. Select Continuous Speed, then drag slowly the slider up to increase the speed. Use the various test movements to test and verify motor performance. After the motor has been jogged and tested for proper operation, select the appropriate command input mode of your controller, then select Save All.
the DYN2 servo system is now ready for integration with a host controller.